Well, life on Mars could eventually be more than just a science fiction movie plot. Take a look at these new incredible pictures the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter took. These images from about 200 miles above the red planet. You can see craters and even some icy dunes there. This comes as NASA prepares for its new mission, Mars 2020. CBS News got an exclusive look at the assembly room in NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab in Pasadena, California. It involves a future rover that will investigate Mars for human expeditions. Space consultant Bill Harwood is with us now from Merritt Island, Florida, where the Kennedy Space Center is. Can we talk a little bit about this? It's uh, more than just a movie plot, I guess. What can you tell us about the new mission to Mars? What exactly will the rover be doing? Well, you know, it's very interesting. NASA is really going all out to find signs of past life on Mars to determine if another planet in our solar system besides Earth might have once been a home for life. As you know, the Mars Curiosity rover landed on Mars back in August 2012. The Opportunity rover is still going after landing in 2004. And this 2020 mission is simply going to push it even further. Uh, instead of just trying to find out if Mars was habitable in the distant past, which the Curiosity rover is now pretty much confirmed to everyone's satisfaction, the 2020 rover is going to actually look for signs of past life. They're going to collect soil and rock samples. They're going to package them up in what they call a cache and leave it on the surface for possible retrieval someday and return to Earth. And, and to prepare the way for humans to Mars, they've actually got an experiment on board that'll try to extract oxygen uh, from the CO2 environment on Mars, from that carbon dioxide atmosphere on Mars. So it's really an ambitious mission. It really takes it to a whole new level uh, on this whole search to find out, was Mars ever habitable? Uh, if so, what might have lived there, and what do we need to do to get humans there? You may have seen, our viewers may have seen our, our Jan Crawford there looking at that rover. She got a close-up look at it. Uh, Bill, how dangerous will this mission be? What kind of challenges are they facing? Well, you know, it's interesting. They're really copying the Curiosity rover in a lot of details. They're using spare parts from that mission. They're using the same technique to get the rover to the surface. If you remember from Curiosity, they use this technique called the Sky Crane, where a rocket system that we saw in the piece today will actually lower the rover down to the surface and let it go. Uh, by doing all of that, using the same type of technology, they're expected to save well over a billion dollars uh, compared to the cost of the Curiosity rover. Um, so still a lot of challenges, lad, but I think the, the key point is they're trying to build on lessons learned so they're not reinventing the wheel this time. They have tried and true technology and they think they can make that work again. So beyond 2020, the ultimate goal is to have humans make it to Mars by at least the 2030s. What's the likelihood of that happening, do you think? It's, it's way too early to even speculate. You know, if you, if you listen to NASA people today, almost every news release has a, has a mention of going to Mars. That is the long-range goal. Uh, but that's many presidential administrations away, many Congresses away. Uh, the budgets to make that happen don't exist yet. Hmm. Uh, so while it's a laudable goal, and that's certainly what they're shooting for, to be able to say when they might actually make it is going to depend on politics. And you guys know as well as I do, that's, that's impossible to predict that far down the road. Definitely. Still, it's nice to think about. Yeah. I'll be close to retirement age there. Maybe I'll just uh, take a bottle of scotch with me up there <laughs> and enjoy my there twilight go. years on Mars. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> Bill Hardwood for us uh, near the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Thanks a lot, Bill. Sure thing.